Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Now, I gotta tell you, this whole COVID thing's really gotten out of hand, don't you think? All because Donald Trump decided early on that it was a fake, that it was a hoax, that it didn't matter. That our lives didn't matter, that Americans' lives just weren't that important. To the point that he demanded that states reopen. That he basically blackmailed a number of states to reopen. One, telling their leaders that he would not support them in the November election. And two, that he would withhold funds from the states. These are things he said on Twitter. They're there. Where he demanded that states reopen or lose funds. He told certain Republican governors that he wouldn't campaign for them. And now they're realizing that he was full of shit. They were realizing that he was being that he was manipulating them and lying to them. And all in all, blackmailing them in order to support his vision for dealing with COVID, which is stick your head in the sand and assume it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, now we're sitting at over 124,000 dead Americans over COVID, all because the borders weren't shut down quick enough and because we didn't act fast enough. And because part of the population, roughly 30% of the population, believes that wearing a face mask is infringing on their constitutional rights. But nowhere in the Constitution does it state you don't have to wear a mask or that you can't be asked to wear one for the general safety of the public. And I've got to say, it's definitely unnerving, rather disturbing, if you ask me. That there are people out there that would rather risk your life and my life because they don't care. Because their great, all-knowing leader, Donald Trump, told them not to worry about it. Just yesterday, a wrestler tweeted out about the mess that his family had to go through. Because his father-in-law, I believe it was, passed away to COVID-19 about a month ago. One of the more popular wrestlers in the world of wrestling today, which is Kevin Owens. A very popular guy. A guy that really, you know, he's got it made. He didn't have to say nothing. There's nothing he had to say. He could just sat there and kept it to himself. But he took it upon himself to let the world know exactly how terrifying and how helpless it is when somebody, when you have a loved one that comes down with something like this. He talked about how it devastated his family, especially his wife. And how if things had been taken care of properly, and these people are from Canada. Could you imagine, though, the fact that 124 plus thousand American families are dealing with this? Losing a loved one out of nowhere, out of the blue. Simply out of a virus that no one bothered to pay attention to. I've been telling you since it started to pay attention. Now, early on, I was not sure how bad it would get. You know, it hadn't gotten here yet. You know, the first videos I made about it when it first started off in China, we weren't seeing sick people here. But once it got here, it was obvious where it was going. As soon as community spread started, that was it. And we were going on the right path. We literally destroyed our economy in order to try to save lives. And now look where we're at. Right back at square zero. Looking worse than Italy. Worse than Brazil. Worse than all of Asia. We're supposed to have the greatest healthcare system on earth. I believe that to be a lie. And I believe this proves it. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, we do not have the most well-equipped or the best healthcare system in the world. 
The only time it is the best is if you're super wealthy. Then maybe you could call it the best. It just shows you how it works in this world, though. If you don't have money, they don't care. No one cares. Even the Trump administration said when the vaccine comes out for COVID, they can't guarantee that all Americans will be able to afford it. So, with all this going on, all the crap going on in the world today, all the COVID crap going on, what are the Republicans going to do? Yeah, that's right. They're going to hold a live, in-person, full-fledged political convention for Donald Trump. First off, it's not necessary. He's already won the freaking nomination. There's no debate about who won the Republican nomination. It's the fascist in the White House who won the nomination. So don't tell me that it's required, that it's necessary. It's not. He could have given a speech to his Republican supporters via the internet, via twi Twitter, or via the WhiteHouse.gov website. He could have he could have accepted the nomination from the fucking Rose Garden at the White House and been on all the networks. But he's choosing to put his followers and fellow Americans' lives at risk simply for his narcissism. Simply for the fact that he thinks he knows better than everybody. So he wants to continue doing this bullshit. He wants to continue sticking his head in the sand, acting as if COVID doesn't exist. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks. It does. And it's absolutely terrifying what's going on in this country right now. For myself, I have quit going out. Again. I was even being safe before, but now I'm just like, I don't want to go out much at all. Unless we absolutely have to. Unfortunately, we're not seeing an end to this. Unfortunately, we'll be looking at COVID-19 probably for the foreseeable future. Possibly up to another 12 to 18 months. Why? Because we refuse to stay shut down long enough to not overrun our healthcare system. Down in Houston, where people were claiming it was the protest that led to it, we're seeing videos of idiots cramming themselves into nightclubs and bars, even though the bars were mandated to be closed by the governor of the state. The city of Houston has has um, given no citations for being open when they weren't allowed to be. Did nothing so far to try to close these places down when they're open when they're not supposed to be. Meanwhile, these people are going out there Getting, you know, getting their party on and then going home and giving the COVID to their families. And I really don't care. I, I know this video will probably get demonetized simply for the fact that I mentioned it. But I don't give a damn. I really don't. But I can tell you one thing. This isn't going away. And it won't go away for a long time. Especially when people won't wear their masks won't stay away from crowded areas. And then they want to blame everybody else for why the COVID virus is spreading around this country again. Take a look at what they did in New York. They had a massive problem. They shut everything the hell down. It was done. Lockdown complete. And guess what? They're doing better these days. Smaller numbers. Smaller increases. But down in Texas, they reopened for no reason. They reopened all the bars, churches, funeral homes, restaurants. Just as I was moving out of Texas and back, uh, moving up here to Oklahoma, the state of Texas decided we're going to do this. We're going to start reopening everything. 
Again, tell me how you can social distance at a barber shop or a hair salon or a nail salon. Tell me how necessary a bar really is. When you could go to the liquor store and buy you some liquor if it's that damn important to you. Anyways, folks, I hope you, uh, you'll remember this come November. I hope you'll remember that Donald Trump has lied to the American people time and again. That he has put all our lives at risk over his inaction over the COVID-19 virus. And remember that when you go to vote. And those of you in Oklahoma, you've got a primary tomorrow. If you're registered to vote, get out there and vote. And and suggest, if you live in Oklahoma, vote yes on Prop 802. And that'll be that. I'll do a video over that. And um, hopefully I'll get it done today and tonight. And maybe you see it tomorrow before you go vote. Anyhow, it's been nice talking to y'all. Hope y'all are having a great day. And I'll see you down the road.